just wanted to provide a quick little update for the Steam Greenlight thing, just to show people what I've been working on. Uh, I've been putting, so yeah, you'll notice that text is not good there, uh, all overlapping, but rubberized bullets. We now have angled walls and levels. Those didn't used to exist before, and they're working pretty hilariously, as you can see. <laughs> um, yeah, rubberized bullets are funny anyway, but but I didn't have angled walls, uh, and now I do. I really like it. It took a lot. I had to change more than I thought. Also, um, I wish I hadn't killed that guy. So I used to have uh, there'd be like long bullets, like horizontally long, wide bullets, but very, very sh shallow. Uh, God, I don't know how to describe words. Um, you know, long, thin bullets. Uh, and I only had those going from left to right, not up to down. So now every gun has to know, or every bullet has to know what its vertical bullet is. So when it bounces, it changes the graphic. It's a mess. And I actually have not tested out if that screws up the bouncing. Uh, so I'm going to have to do that. I worry that's going to. Uh, but anyway, there you go, walls, you can run into walls, and it's okay. It is a little awkward that, like, the upper left, it's not pixel-perfect collision, and that's something I'll probably want to add at some point. Also, as I mentioned in a uh, in the facts uh, on the on the Steam community group or, or whatever, I'm new to these things, I don't know the names off the top of my head, uh, one thing I would like to do is have, someday, it would be a huge change, and so it's not going to be someday soon. Uh, but to just have pixel-perfect terrain, like the Worms games, where you can... Especially so you can blow stuff up, because it would be great if the fuel was actually hidden inside the level, and then you had to go and shoot stuff, and you know, you've got these aliens coming in at you, as they're doing to me now. Um, and you're trying to blow away terrain, and that could be a lot of fun. Don't know what I would do with breakable terrain. I also worry... I don't know if there's water on this level, but water physics would be awfully exciting. I would probably go the Worm route with... And look at that, that's, that's ugly. We'll fix that. The backgrounds are all squares. Anyway, um, I would go the worms route probably with water and just make water always be at a certain level uh, rather than, you know, right now it can be at different levels like we see here, uh, depending on the terrain. And I cannot imagine trying to code the physics for water when it's pixel perfect. Like if it was, if I keep it tidy like Terraria, you know, I, I'm sure I can figure that out. It'll, it'll be a pain, but I'll figure it out. Uh, but with pixel perfect terrain, destructible terrain like worms, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. So, no, I mean, maybe that's a choice, and maybe that's a choice to leave to you guys. Um, you know, what, what what's cooler? Is it, is it interesting to have, you know, more, uh, I, I guess the, the physics are, are easier when you have tile-based, and so you could do stuff like flowing water, uh, or is it more cool to have destructible terrain, but that means we have less interesting physics? And I'm sure flowing water isn't the only, uh, kind of physics, you know, that, that gets involved there. there. There's probably other things where you'd go, well, that would have been possible with tiles, but but not with pixels. But destructible terrain <laughs> was really cool. So I don't know. See, there's a guy you saw. He shot in all four directions. It was wonderful with those long laser beams. What happens when those bounce again? I haven't tested. Anyway, I this was meant to be a quick thing, and it's already been longer than I intended. Uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for all your guys' super positive feedback on, um, on the Steam Greenlight process. And again, I, I hope to have a demo out uh, sometime this week, uh, a demo that you can download and play. Uh, the big, uh, the problem for me is that I have a complete game and now I have to make a demo version for you guys to play as opposed to just releasing what I have now, because what I have now is basically the full thing. Um, so, hope to have that out later this week. Sorry, talking longer. I'm done. Goodbye. Thank you.